What is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Sunday Slaughter and I'm excited because 1.7 is finally here. Not only that, finally. Uh, yeah, finally. <laughs> uh, today also marks a day where we are uh, not required to wear masks. So as you can see, I, I've shaved my quarantine mustache. Uh, Carl has his quarantine beard still going on, but I feel good because uh, 1.7, no masks, and also Simon has uh, dropped Kingsman. So you'll see I'll be running the new unit right there. <laughs> Uh, she bears also dropped and then for the u.s i think we're getting steady drops with into this this next month so you know we're we're very hyped about that i don't want to spend too much time going through this intro but one thing i want to bring up is carl is back on the table he's the person that makes these wonderful trays i've got a set of uh 10 custom sunday slaughter trays that are going out to my uh top tier patrons so you know, this is a big thank you to them for supporting the channel and thank you to Carl for, for making these. Carl, let's just start with you and uh, you can just quickly go through your, throughout your army. We don't have to go through all the changes that have happened within the Free Folk Army. I'll show the cards whenever they come up during the game. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, I've played one game of Free Folk, 1.7 so far. This is my second game. I'm running basically the same army I ran the first time just to, you know, find some normalcy. The Free Folk deck is so much more user friendly it's so exciting because before there was three some odd different cards that it was like oh that that's just a redraw like get that out of here because the triggers were difficult and i mean talking to a brathian player you're not telling them anything <laughs> they don't know um so all that stuff's better and i'm real excited we got a bunch of raiders and then a few cave dweller savages are making their way back onto tables which is that unit got nerfed out of existence a while back that used to be a cornerstone of free folk army so we'll see if they can get some action today they seem like the free folk equivalent of like berserkers almost yes they have the uh, as they die they they get more abilities they hit harder roll more dice so we'll see if we can't get them in that sweet spot yeah so okay you've got three raiders um skin changers in each nope uh i have torment in one unit of raiders raiders with skin changer raiders skin changer mance Leading some spear wives, naked unit of thin, harma in the savages. And you're bringing a lot of attachments, which is something we did not see a lot in 1.6. But in 1.7, if you're taking free folk and raiders, there's no reason why you wouldn't take attachments. Yep. So, wow, uh, that's very exciting. I, I like that. Um, okay, on my side, I am running Stannis one commander in a unit of stag knights and stag knights is probably the one of the units that i'm most excited to start playing because they just sat on my shelf all of 1.6 but now they seem like a powerhouse so i'm, I'm really excited to see how they're they're going to play out in this game so i've got stannis and stag knights i have a dragonstone noble which i don't think changed wardens the new flayed men wonderful unit and then the highlight of the battle report the new unit of king's so the Kingsmen have a attack profile of seven, six, four, hitting on threes. They have a defense of four and a morale of six. But what makes them special is the order Kingsblade. So every time this, or sorry, it's an order that says after this unit is attacked, I can search my tactics deck or discard for one hours as a fury and add it to my hand. Uh, they have a secondary order that says to the last. So when this unit is destroyed, I take a morale test. On a success, I come back with one wound, uh, but I become panicked and vulnerable. They, all have, they also have Sundering with their great sword. You know, at seven points, we'll see if it's, it's worth taking. It's a, it's a very competitive point cost in an army like Baratheon's, but I always think that card recursion is never a bad thing. Uh, thinning your deck is something that most players would want to see, but either way, I'm excited to paint them. Onto the game mode, we are running Dance with Dragons. So what objectives do we have on the table here, Carl? We have the, uh, while controlling this objective, melee attacks gain Sundering. Um, friendly unit in long range, restores one wound, plus one for each of its destroyed ranks. And then the, uh, when you score points, unit in long range becomes panicked. 
Awesome. Oh, and I, I should bring up my NCUs, in fact. I'm running Axel and Shira, and Carl, you're running Craster and Lady Val. Craster and Lady Val. Cool. Last thing, we are continuing the second XP campaign for my patrons. So I've got the patron dice here. We're going to try to remember to uh, use these dice. We usually do a pretty good job of remembering to roll these dice when we attack. But yeah, I think we are ready to go. Like for all of our games, Carl, good luck. Have fun. And I chose sides, so you get to cho uh, choose who goes first. You can go first. I can go first. Before we start the round, though, I will put... Yes. Oh, uh, let's see here. So, um, this dude will be my white eagle. This dude will be my black eagle. Mm -hmm. I will put my white eagle here and my black eagle there. Yep. So, each time one of those units makes a maneuver or march their skin changer can shift two inches. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Uh, I have a card, start around, tactical approach. It says, while attached each time this unit is performing a melee attack, after rolling attack dice, you may expend one condition token. If you do, the attack deals D3 wounds. If it's Stannis' unit, it does an automatic three. So, obvious choice here, tactical approach is gonna go on Stannis. And for my first activation, I am going to activate Axel and go on the letters. Before I resolve the letters, I will influence a, one of his units. And it says, while influencing an enemy, if you control the crown, they suffer plus one wound for failing panic tests. Pretty good against free folk. And if I control the letters, they cannot be the target of friendly tactics cards. Uh, I don't know the deck too well, but I'm just gonna put it on Mance here okay. for the time being. And then I'll draw two and I'll put a condition token. I will put a panicked on Mance. Okay. So yeah, so with my Mance bubble, morale of three, five, three, five, four, and five. Uh, that's yeah. within short range? His is within short range. So these guys are threes because of uh, they have a five and then they each have stalwart. You know what? We're gonna put a weakened out on your spirit wise, in fact. Okay. Yeah, let's do that instead. All right. Weakened on my wiving of the Spearsies. Let's do a So for Shira to place a token, she has to remove a token now. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I kind of don't care what she does. We will um craft her the crown mm -hmm. and I will draw a card. So you're replacing the effect? Yes, I will okay. replace it. Shira will go on the horse. Okay. And I will maneuver. Tough choice here because I've got slow wardens, but I can also bring up my flayed men to sort of threaten some space. But we are going to move up my wardens four. Back to you. Okay, we will activate these raiders over here. They will march. Mm -hmm. These guys will march. We'll go there. Okay. We'll grab Lady Val. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll replace. We'll just take the wealth. And my th then we'll make a maneuver. I will march up these guys eight. Okay. And then pivot to where I can grab that token to gain sundering. Um, hmm. So this new predictable maneuvers card Start of any turn, target one enemy combat unit and one enemy NCU. Mm -hmm. If you've already activated both NCUs, can I not do this card? Oh, that's a good question. I would say you could, but I mean, I'm sure people in the comments, if you know better, you know, definitely let us know if we're going to play this right or not. But I would say that you could. You could play even though I've activated Okay. Both. Okay. Um, I'm not going to play right now, but... All right. I figured before we got to that point. Wait, are you so are you trying to pigeonhole me? Like, 
if let's say that you waited until I only had, I had two unit or one unit one left. One unit left. Could I play this card? Wasn't it the old version of predictable? The old version said that you had to have at least two combat units available. Uh huh. This says target one enemy combat unit and one enemy NCU if either unit performs an action this turn. That's tough. That seems like a cheap move, but if we're yeah. read, if it's if it's raw, yeah, I mean, you it's... would be able to play it. Uh, I would think that the NCU would need to be to off, be... yeah, because it it could it, it right. would need to be able to make an action. Right, right. Okay. We'll activate these raiders, and they will march here. Mm -hmm. Nine inches. Yeah. And we'll just pivot a little bit. Sure. Uh, my Dragonstone Noble, he moves at a four. So he will... And I think my shift is before you do anything with him. Uh, so if you're gonna maneuver or march, I get a shift before you do that. Yeah, go for it. Okay. So just, uh, I guess, shift these guys up too. Mm -hmm. What is Harma's ability? Harma is... Does she, does she uh, have the follow me thing, or you said it's the plus no, one movement? No, it's, um, she has Sentinel. So after another friendly unit long range attack, this unit performs one charge or maneuver action. Charge, you must target the attacker. And then this unit gains plus one movement and may pivot before marching. Interesting. Well, with the four movement and a march... We're gonna go here. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll activate Mance. Mm. He will march up not totally crazily far. You wanna be out of range? Um, or make it risky at least? You shouldn't be able to get me, but we're going, we're going for like risky, not exactly okay. out. Maybe something along the lines of that just because my last oh no not my last unit i've got flayed men and stannis's unit left and i will maneuver stannis he can go 10 but do i want to go that full amount yes okay we will activate torment unit they will march up to about here. Hmm. Hmm. Last unit here. All right, I'm, I'm moving them. Okay. Um. You get a one-inch shift over here. We'll go there. Okay, I will start the turn. I will use uh, Tormund's War Cry. This unit performs a morale test on a success. Target one enemy in long range. It becomes panicked and vulnerable. Sure. So I will be on a five plus two minus one. <laughs> five. Plus two, minus, minus one. I think you so got it, right? Four? Yeah, you're on a four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, wow. All right. Did not uh, anticipate that. Make those flayed men panicked and vulnerable. When you do that, I'll play Stag's Wit. Okay. Um, so that means I get to remove one. Yep. And put one uh, of the same type on you. I will put a... I'll put a vulnerable on Mance. Okay. There's no range to that or? It's within long range. Okay. And I'm, let's double check here, but I'm pretty sure you are. Yep. Yep. Okay. 11 and a half. All right. And then I will, um, we will march up some 
thin here. Mm -hmm. Basically just enough to grab that token. We want to get in the short range of stainless though. And I want to pivot also. Yeah, we'll pivot and pick that up. Mm. And you're all activated. Yes. Start of the turn, I'll play coordination tactics. Target two friendly infantry units in short range of each other until the end of the turn. Um, both units gain the abilities on the other. And you may immediately trigger any start of turn orders. Mm -hmm. So I'll swap these two. Mm -hmm. And then I will trigger that same uh, war cry yep. thing again. These guys will be even. So on a six this time. Nice. Got it. And we will panic. Stannis takes tokens now, right? Yes. Okay. Um, we will panic and vulnerable. What's a noble save on a two? A two. He's got a three morale. A three morale. Yikes. Yeah, we'll panic and vulnerable. Uh, yeah, because I'm not in range of the wardens. Yeah. All right, so that'll go there. Sure. And then we will activate armor's unit. Yeah. So, all right, so let's go, there's 10. She'll stay, she'll stay back a little bit. Sure. And she doesn't need to go do anything crazy right now, I guess. Okay. That is the round, yes? That is the round. Cool. I'm gonna put some wolves on there, though. Yeah. Eagles lost a lot of weight when I realized that was one per turn. All right, so we will wolf the flayed men, and we will wolf, we will wolf uh, Stannis' unit. Okay. All right, I will uh, activate Lady Val. Mm-hmm. We'll take tactics on with her. Mm-hmm. Let's put a weekend on your flayed men. Mm-hmm. I will activate these guys, mm -hmm. and I'll charge, needing a three. Let's hope not. <laughs> nope. Hey. But I grabbed the token, so there's that. Do you get the token? Oh, let's see. You're only going six. Yep. <laughs> I needed anything but that. Anything. And a panic test on a plus one. I got it. Okay. Let's activate Craster. Mm -hmm. Take the maneuver zone. Mm -hmm. I will play on this horde. Okay. And I'll grab me another unit of the Raiders. Mm -hmm. Then we will deploy right there. That really boned me, but. It's all about getting points, keeping you off points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this guy. Okay. Are you going <laughs> to? You're not going to use the. Uh, I don't think I'm in range. Oh, it's short range. Yeah, it's short range for the taunt. All right. So moving four. Yep. And I'm going to charge. Okay. Needing a. So like another three. Another three. Let's go. Need action. There we go. So we'll collide with your base. Yep. And we'll take the token. Yes. That's my fallback plan. So three dice sundering on threes. Uh, you used the wrong dice. <laughs> how, many, how many did you hit? We can count the uh, first ones as no, your we'll, actual hits. Uh, we'll, we'll just do that. No reroll. So we'll just, I hit you twice. Okay. All right. Two on uh, you have Sundering. So I'm on sixes. Yep. Two fails. Morale test on a plus three. So a five. Mm -hmm. Or panic test. Ooh, one more. 
I did that wrong the first time. There we go. Okay, I will use um, Harma's order and make a free maneuver since I cannot charge you. Um, Harma will maneuver mm -hmm. up here. Yep. <laughs> um, might as well just put it this way. Okay. My turn. Yep. Yeah, activate these guys. Okay. And uh, they will um, charge your wardens. Sure. So two dice, right? Or is is it automatic? I think it's auto, like auto no rerolls. Right, but you're rolling to see if you can play cards. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we will go here. And uh, I'm technically in your rear since you put your tray backwards. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to say that they're front. Gotcha. <laughs> um, I'm going to be six on fours. Yeah. No, not bad. Four hits. Four hits, nice, on threes. Just need threes. Nice. Wow, so three. Nice. Panic test on even six. We are good. Okay. So I keep the token. Yeah. I'll activate. These guys. Okay. We'll go here. They are six dice. Oh, God. Six dice on fours. Uh, one hit. One on fives. One wound. Panic test. So five plus one, so panic and a four. You got it. They're good. We'll activate these raiders. You need to attack? They will, I guess I'll attack him. All right. Six on fours. Three hits. On twos. Got it. Okay. We'll go in. Stannis will charge your thins. Okay. Uh, mark target, so I'll make them vulnerable. Okay. And then a one or a two is disorderly? Yes. Disorderly? Go this way. Uh, seven dice, crit blow, because it's round two. No rerolls. Um, so that is seven hits. You have crit blow? Yes. Okay. Seven on fours. Yikes. Five wounds. So I take the token. You for now. Take the token. Do you want to vulnerable the two? No. Okay. Panic at a plus one, and I'll be minus one wounds because I'm down a rank. I'm good. Good. We'll activate Harmer's unit. Mm -hmm. Show charge. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> do they have an ace sundering? They, I think, do. I think they have innate sundering. Yeah, so they have sundering and then plus one to hit for each of my destroyed ranks. I suffer a wound for each die roll of a one. So I'm six on fours with sundering here. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. And then uh, stuff. Thank God for re rolls. Wow. There you go. Three hits, no ones. Good. Three hits, so I'm looking at uh, one, minus one on the flank, so I'm on sixes. 
Yes. Saved one. I'll vulnerable it. All right. There we go. So three. Panic test on a even. Even? Yes. So I am on a five. And I'm panicked. Come on, Stan. <laughs> We're good so far. Uh, yeah, we'll panic it. Uh, leave the white? Yeah, leave the white. We're good. Okay. So now it's my turn. Axel's gonna go on the swords. Okay. I'm gonna play sustained assault, so I get rerolls. Um, and he will influence a man's. So okay. seven dice crit blow with re rolls. Come on, crits. Come on. So four. Four on fours. And I'm vulnerable if you want. Mm, no. Okay. I will spend the vulnerable for an extra three wounds, though. Okay. Forgot about that. Panic at even minus two wounds. You got it. Good. I'll use crasters once per game, put two back on these guys. Mm hmm. Start of a friendly turn, I'll play regroup and reform. Mm -hmm. I'll put four back on these guys. Mm -hmm. And I'll take them off. I can't take them off mans. You could. We'll put three back on them, and we'll take three off here. Sure. All right, we'll, uh, we'll activate the thin. Yep. And they will attack. Sure. And I'm going to block line of sight. If I do that, could go the other way. Yeah, I wanted to do something cool. Going the other way isn't cool. I could try to do that. All right, so they'll attack there. Yeah. Five on fours. Okay. One hit. One on fours. Take a wound. Yay, I get a token. No, you don't have more ranks than me. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, panic test. At even. On a five. Which I fail for two more. Nice. So how many did I take there? Three. I took three? Okay. They have activated. Okay. Start of your turn, I'll play predictable maneuvers. I'll target your flayed men and what's her face. Yeah. If either one performs an action this turn, before they resolve that action, one friendly combat unit performs one attack, maneuver, or retreat. Sure. Shower's going to go in here. All right. I'll heal three. Well, I, I go first. Oh, go Before you do your thing. Yep. Um, yeah, Harmer's unit will attack. Okay. Six on fours. Ah, damn, I forgot Nancy's order again. Two hits. Two on five sixes. Two wounds. You get the token. Yes. And then um, I'll play there's too many. Okay. So minus one to your panic. Plus one wound, up to three for each unit I have in short range. So you'll be at a minus four to your panic, plus three wounds. Plus three wounds? Yes. So I need to pass this or I die, yes. basically. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got the token though. Oh, so I get to heal now. So, yep, I will uh, use Torment's ability, since I've forgot like five times. Um, morale test. Yeah. Good, I will panic and vulnerable Stannis. Mm -hmm. 
and then um, Tormund will charge. Okay. Six on fours. Mm -hmm. Nice. Five hits. On fours. Oh my gosh. So four wounds. I will vulnerable the one. Yep. Got it. Okay. Panic on an even again. Panic. Uh, yeah. Five. Okay. I will vulnerable or I'll panic the six. Die, Stannis, die! Whew. All right. Oh, the amount of resources that went into that. Um, we'll maneuver him four inches like... How many wounds did I take from that? Uh, from the whole attack? Yeah. So I took max three and, and then all five. You passed one because I vulnerable it. You double sixed, so nine. I'll play final strikes. Well, so. how many? Did you have nine? I think it's seven. So seven hits back. Okay. Seven hits back, and that's before my yeah. movement. Then Let's see if it matters. Um, seven on five. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Nice. Two wounds. Wow, okay. So he maneuvered. He will pivot uh -huh. like there. And Harma will pivot to there. Okay. Um, your turn. Start of your turn. I'll play coordination tactics. So they will swap each other's abilities. Mm hmm. So if you're activating them, I will use yep. taunt. Taunt. So you'll be at a minus panic test min or morale test minus three. So I need a nine. You don't need the D3. Just a morale test. Yes. We're good. Kay. Panicked. Um, I'll panic the whole thing. Okay. So I fail. Yeah, I should have used. See, I kept messing up because then I could have used Tormund's order on these guys and did it over here. So you have to charge. Disorder leaves on a one and a two. Three. You get like auto not rerolls. Seven dice on threes. No rerolls. So good thing for rerolls. All right, so two, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. I'll weaken. Good for you. Three wow. hits. Three on five. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, and that's it for me. That is a. Uh... Well, there. Now I don't feel bad for missing that order. We're even. <laughs> okay. Um, so I will activate uh, Mance Raider's unit. Mm -hmm. Shift and shoot here. They will be four on fours. Three hits. Three on fours. Two wounds, and then a panic. Minus two. Eight. So I take five. Oh, five, yeah. And you take one. I take one. A panic test? Oh, yes. On a uh, three. Good. Nice. And then uh, Mance's unit will charge. Yep. Which I don't have tactics cards and I'm in and out of corpse pile, so I don't think it matters here. 
Now we'll go as close to 100 as possible mm -hmm. since stuff. Um, they are weak and invulnerable. Six on fours with uh, some sundering, I think. Oh no, I get plus three auto hits. Six on fours. No rerolls. So six hits. Six on fours. I am. Uh, yes, we can. That. Yes. Okay. Remember which ones I rolled? Four, Four hits. hits on fours. One wound. Panic minus two. Wow. Oh my goodness. So I took uh, four. Four more. So that's a horse. One, two, three, four. All right. Um, these guys will just uh, march mm -hmm. that far, I guess. Okay. That is the round. Um, you score two, I score one. Mm -hmm. You get to heal. Um, yeah, I get to one wound plus one for each of its destroyed rank. So I can put two here, I could put two there, or I could put two here. I feel like I kind of need two here more than I need two back there. Mm -hmm. um, and you get to... I'll panic those guys. Yeah. We will put a bear here. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a bear over here. So if you kill the bears, I cannot bring a bear again for that skin changer. If you don't kill the bears, I can bring a bear back later. Gotcha. Your first player. I'll play tactical approach on... Okay. Oh, I guess the wolf is gone. Put tactical approach on them. And Axel will go in here. I have to take the free attack from you. And I will attack here. Okay. Five dice on threes. Four on uh, fives. Mm -hmm. Take three. You have vicious, so I should be on a five then from man. Yep. You got it. Got it. Okay. Start a friendly turn. I'll mm -hmm. play regroup. Mm -hmm. Take four off of these guys. Mm -hmm. Four on over here. Mm -hmm. Um. Activate these guys. Mm -hmm. Do a maneuver or shift like so. And we'll attack five on fours. Two hits. On threes. One wound. Panic test on a seven. Got it. I will play Breathing Conviction on them. Okay. And I will put Shira on the horse. Okay. It'll be one inch away. Like so. Okay. Yeah, we'll activate Mance's unit. Mm -hmm. Or I'll use uh, Tormund's order first. Mm -hmm. um, morale test on a three. Yep. I will vulnerable panic, mm -hmm. flayed men. Activate Mance's unit. They will shift here. I will play overwhelming assault on a friendly unit. It's performing a melee attack before roll attack dice. For each friendly unit, engage with the defender, choose one. Uh, Reroll attack dice, crit blow, or sundering. I will pick rerolls and sundering. Yep. I don't think they're going to make it. Six on. 
fours with rerolls. Five hits. So you got him. All right. Okay. Um, pivot here. Surge four. No. Bring him back. Who's going to need my help? They're both on eights already. I want to surge forth just enough to keep. Yeah, and that hooks up a lot of other people. Okay. What's their stats? The bear is, uh, he's going to roll one dice hitting on a three. He saves on a five, morale of a two. Has one wound. He's got one wound. Yes. He doesn't grant points when you kill him, obviously. His hits do not allow defensive saves. I'll attack the bear with that guy. Okay. Three dice. Three hits with Sundering. Three on um, sixes. He's dead. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, I will use Harm's ability and maneuver. Yep. Basically two inches away from you. Mm -hmm. And at least not take that rear charge. Mm -hmm. Activate Lady Val. Mm -hmm. like to, ah, da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll take Lady Val, we'll take Tactic Zone. We'll draw two. Let's weaken these guys. Okay. Just so I don't get absolutely face punched by them. I am going to charge with them. Okay. We're good. Yep. Like that. Seven dice on threes with three rolls. Weakened. My God. Six misses. Ouch. Okay, all hit. I will weaken. And I should have played Craster, not Lady Bow. Huh? Five hits. Buys me two. And they're on Four sixes. hits. Four uh, hits? No, sorry, five. Okay. Yep. No, I only rolled six dice somehow. Where's the... Yeah, I only rolled six dice, so... Okay. And then re-rolling with the weekend. weekend. Four hits. Four hits. Yes. And I'm saving on sixes. Yeah. Four hits. You drop it. And then I will drop it. Yeah, that was dumb. I could have uh, used that retreat. Yeah, panic on a three. You got it. They're good. I'll activate this unit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the bear goes before me. When it's bonded, skin changer activates. Oh, okay. I messed up over there then. I should have never had the bear then to begin with because I hadn't activated them yet. The bear doesn't come in until I activate. Oh, interesting. We can just leave that be if you want. That's and, fine. Okay. Um, so, okay, so now my bear comes in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, uh, an attack. Okay. One on threes. No saves. Panic minus one. I take one. So I drop it and you get it. Uh, actually, do you get to take it? I don't think you can take him. Uh, he's not. He's a zero point unit, so he cannot take it. So then I would drop it, or do you take I it? I think it goes to a different unit engaged. Dance, 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 dance. Um, if you don't own an objective, fails a panic token or is destroyed, one enemy unit chosen by the opponent that is engaged with claims the token. Okay, oh, so you'd okay, be cool. that one. Yep. All right, and then these guys will attack. Mm -hmm. um, once again, hitting your rear. Uh -huh. Six on four. With sundering. Rerolls. 
No, no Sundering. You have Sundering now. I have Sundering now? With the token. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good call. Okay. Two hits. Uh, we'll use Counter Strike, so four back at you. Okay. Oh, dude, I forgot the Stag Knights have that order. <laughs> I'm so stupid. So one wound. Take one. And how many two to, two, two. be on fours? Yes. So two. Panic test on a six. We're good. I will play Brathy Injustice. You become vulnerable, both both those units. Okay. And then I get I haven't attacked with them yet. You have not. So four on fours. Five on fours, sorry. Five on fours. One hit. One on fives. One wound. And I will spend this to do th uh, D3. Okay. One. Panic plus one from a five, so on a four. You got it. Um, activate Torment. Sure. He'll charge. So the bog is minus one movement, so I do need a two, and then I'm auto disorderly. Yep. Okay. Or not auto disorderly, no rerolls. Yeah. Five on fours. Two you hits. rolled a D3 for some reason. I did. I wonder how many times I've done that. Uh, three hits. Three on threes. Come on. So one. Panic on a six. Have, can I pass one here? Let's go, boys. Yes, finally. All right. So start of a turn, I'll place around exposed. Target an enemy unit for each of your friendly units in short range. That enemy beyond the first, they gain a condition token. Mm -hmm. So we will panic and vulnerable these guys. Yep. I will activate here. Mm hmm And um, they'll attack. Okay. Six on fours. Four hits. Four on twos. So one wound. And you get the token. Yes, and you have a panic on a three. Got it. Okay. Um, we'll activate Harmage's unit and they'll attack. Okay. There will be seven on fours. No, seven on threes now because they're missing a rank. Mm -hmm. Seven on threes with Sundering. Five hits. Five on fives. Ooh. Yeah, come here. So four wounds, panic test on a s five. I will um I will play there's too many. Okay. So minus one for each unit within short range plus one wound. So you'll be minus two to the test. Minus or plus three wounds. Because you have a weird wound. Mm -hmm. Minus two to the test? Minus two to the test, plus three wounds. Okay, so I need an eight. So take five. Six. Six. Because you rolled three. Yep. And then plus three wounds, because I have yep. three units in short range. All right. Okay. That was Harma's unit. You have anything? Nope. My Finn will activate and they will charge. Yep. Nice. I will play Overwhelming Assault. And um, for each for each friendly unit engaging the defender, I can choose one. I already get rerolls, so I'll pick up Cripplow and Sundering. Mm -hmm. On fours, Cripplow, Sundering, rerolls. Four hits. 
four on fives. You got it? Oh, Volner. Okay, yep. Uh, and then, yeah, they get a surge. I'm gonna get to pivot. Just wanna get her out of the way almost. So she'll pivot like that, I guess. So you get a point for that, so that puts you at seven? That will put me, after this round, up to seven. We can play it out, but there's no way I'm coming back from this. Um, there shouldn't be. No. Uh, I concede. That was uh, pretty bloody. And honestly, it's my fault because I totally forgot about Stannis' order. Not Stannis, the Stagnites. I mean, I think that would have saved what me. What was their order? Oh, the... Uh, they have resilience, so for every... Every, every two unblocked hits, you take one wound. Right. So, yeah, it would have been big because... Panic was your worst enemy, for sure, it seemed like. He died at the end of round... Uh, he died right at the end of the round where if I would have survived that round, I would have gotten the heal with the objective. I was going first that round. He would have gotten crit blow and vicious. Oh, I didn't even play Craster. Yeah. And I would have taken out those stens, which would have brought you down at least an activation. I mean, losing Stannis early was huge because mm -hmm. I also lost my ability to gain two points around. Um, but your ability to play cards throughout the game, like, changed everything. Yeah. I and played cards when I could, but they were not as game changing. And then as I yours. just drew all three of Mance's cards this round, and they're. He's got some good stuff in there. Yeah. The Kingsmen, oh, I could have drawn the cards when they were attacked, but it wouldn't have mattered. They weren't, they, they weren't going to survive those two hits from those units. Um, but yeah, I like 1.7. I just kind of wish that I would have remembered the Stag Knight's ability. But uh, still learning. Uh, it's going to be a learning process, you guys. Sorry that things took a little longer and... We had to look up stats, but that's just the way it goes whenever you're learning a new version of a game. Stick around and, you know, I've got some, some more battle reports coming in 1.7. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Carl, thanks again for playing, and also thank you again for the dice trace. Oh, absolutely. Dude, until next time, thank you so much. Stuff. Bye, everybody. See ya. Holy sh**. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So if you like this content, please consider supporting me through Patreon. You can find that link in the description below, or at the very least, just hit that subscribe button or like the video. If not for me, at least do it for Rosie. Say bye, Rosie. Oh.